hi guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel this is an update continuation of whatever to the open letter to the DWP today I finally got a letter um, about Kaylee my autistic disabled daughter's universal credit um, in July they decided that they weren't going to pay her because they'd asked for my bank account details and five months of my banking statements to go through to see what had I been doing with her money because she's only recently got a bank account because she didn't want one because she thinks if she does anything adult like she's going to die she has a phobia it took me two years to get her to agree to open an account and then we had to jump through hoops to get an account because she doesn't have a driving license she doesn't have a mortgage she doesn't pay bills yada 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 anyway we eventually got her a bank account so that i could put her child trust fund into a savings account that she had access to the trial child trust fund thing was started with gordon brown i think back when we had a labor government they gave x amount of money to children that were born within a certain range and then you could add to it and it matured when they were 18. if you didn't open it for them the hmrc did anyway so they were ifing and butting about that they're a government department and they didn't know anything about the government child trust fund I had to provide proof upon proof upon proof that that's what that was. Then as she's been growing up, as they both have been growing up, both my children are autistic. My husband and myself are disabled. No, we didn't fucking ask for this life. We fucking hate it. We were fit and healthy and we lived in North Wales and we moved here for work because there wasn't any work in Wales at the time because they shut down Butlins, made it a haven, quartered the staff and anywhere else there you needed to speak Welsh and neither of us did. So rather than being benefit scrounging scum and staying by the seaside, we decided we'd move for work. We moved here and my husband had an awful accident at work and broke his back, which led on to depression. He's been told he'll never work again because he can't sit for long. He can't stand for long. He can't lift anything. We came here and within a weekend, he dug up crazy paving that was in the front garden and without a wheelbarrow, bit by bit, brought it round to the back garden, then decided he could make a stone wall with it and brought it back round again and did that. Does that sound like a fucking scrounger? No. I did absolutely everything. I walked miles daily, going shopping, taking Travis to school, doing whatever I had to do. Then, because of the stress of Travis being autistic and me not getting any help, I got diagnosed with fibro, which is pro progressive. I don't care what they say. I wasn't like this 10 years ago. I wasn't like this 20 years ago. Now I can do... F I can barely brush my hair. Having a shower puts me out for the day. Do I like this life? No. Do I like fucking depending on the government to pay my bills? No, I fucking don't. I hate it. I hate every fucking second of it. But my daughter is entitled to universal credit. Why have they decided she's not getting it? Because I put away money in savings for when I die. I wanted her to have a buffer, so I put away money for him and her, so that when we die, while they're grieving, or whatever the fuck's happening, they've got a bit of a buffer, they've got money there, they can feed themselves. We've paid for our funerals, all that is covered. I'm on the verge of tears, I'm so fucking angry. I just wanted to tell the universal credit to go fuck themselves but then that wouldn't have made me look good on their fucking system and then they would have said see we made the right decision fuck you universal credit so i put money away for my children for when i die they're in accounts under my account in my bank 
Kaylee has no clue it exists. She knows nothing about it. It is for when I die. But because I did it legally and put it under her name so it was obviously hers, and because I told the truth, and because I let them fucking mooch through all my bank accounts and see what I fucking spent and where I pissed last, they've now decided that because that money set aside for her, that counts as her savings, therefore she can't get universal credit. So the television programmes, they show people on benefits as sitting in the pub all day, drinking, smoking, taking drugs, doing whatever, not paying the rent, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure they are a tiny fraction of the people on benefit that do that. The rest of us follow the rules. I followed the rules. I let them look at my bank accounts because I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. I was thinking ahead for my children. There are the four of us. That's it. There is no other family. There are no friends. They have no support. So when we go, what do they have? The way I saw it was, it's a little bit of a buffer. At least they won't have to worry about the bills for a few months or whatever. At least they won't have debt collectors knocking on the door because there's something not paid that they didn't realise they had to pay for. So now, the only way Kaylee will get universal credit is to spend all her savings. How is that fucking right? So then she'll get her universal credit and it'll pile up and pile up and pile up and then... She'll be over the limit again because she'll have savings because she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke, she doesn't go out. She does fucking diamond paintings and watches Peppa Pig. So then again, she'll have too much money and then they'll stop her money. Having universal credit would cover her so that her council tax would be paid. So that would be one thing she wouldn't have to worry about. I give up. The system's fucked. It really is. And for those of you out there calling people on benefits, benefit scrounging scum and saying getting the money is easy, you haven't got a fucking clue. I should be receiving pit, but I'm not because somebody sat on my bed and told a pile of fucking lies about me. Now people with long COVID are like, oh, I'm really ill. I need benefits. It's really hard. They won't give me any. Yeah, well, I've been screaming for years and no one wanted to fucking listen. Maybe if everybody had a bit of empathy for other people and their situation, they would see the system is screwed. My daughter's been penalised because I did the right thing for her. I put money aside for her for when I'm not here. How is that right? Fuck you, Universal Credit. Fuck you, the Tory government. Fuck all of you.